Albert in Boston, Massachusetts writes to me and he says, some amps specify THD of less than 0.1%, while others specify greater or equal to 0.1%. Does it matter to the listener? Is it perceptible? That's, of course, a long debated question. Is it audible? Yes, it is audible. How much is audible depends a great deal on a number of factors, so there's no clear answer, okay? Point one is pretty high. I have always said that anything below point one, like 0.05 uh, or lower, it's getting down into the area where it's not all that audible. But again, so much depends on the resolution of your system, what kind of music you're listening to, the room, your ability as a listener, and are you comparing it to anything? Sometimes distortion is a good thing in terms of the richness of presentation, but it's something, it is distortion, right? So THD stands for total harmonic distortion, and it, and it describes the addition of harmonics that are not there. They are generated in the electronics or in the chain and they are unwanted. So the question is, what level is acceptable to us? And I, I use like, oh, kind of like 0 0.01, 0 0.05, it's pretty good. 0 0.1, a tenth of a percent, that's reasonably high distortion. So I might want to stay away from something like that. But that's just a general rule of thumb. So again, it just, I, I, I wish I could give you a clearer answer. And the clearest answer I can give you is, yeah, I would stick with 0 0.05, 0 0.01. Those are good numbers. And those are pretty much imperceptible. But your mileage may vary. So do take that into account. Um, and how resolving is your system? So that's the last point that we need to make on that. My system at home, a pair of KEF LS50s, great little system, lovely system. Could I tell the difference between 0.1% distortion and 0.01% distortion? Nah, couldn't. Doesn't have the resolving power. So why should I spend more money on an amplifier that has the difference between the two? I shouldn't. But I can tell major differences in amplifiers because remember, it isn't just distortion that makes amps sound different. In fact, distortion is a very poor indicator of the sound of an amplifier. So we don't want to rely upon it for making a choice in which way we want to go with amplifiers. That's not the right way to go. And we can talk about how to do it, and we have in the past, and we'll do it in the future. <laughs> All right. Hope that helps. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.